Grade 6 Math, number 5.1b. More ratios. This is a continuation of 5.1a. As we talked about in the previous video, a ratio is a comparison of two quantities by division. A ratio is also an ordered pair of numbers. As I said before, they can be written in three ways. As words like 1 to 3, as a fraction, 1 over 3 or 1 third, or with a colon in the middle, and it would be read as 1 to 3. The colon would be read as the word 2, T-O. We use ratios to compare. AB is equal to C over D. A and D are called the extremes. The pink ones are called the extremes. See how they cross? B and C are called the means. Two ratios are equal if and only if the product of the means equals the product of the extremes. This is saying that two ratios are equivalent only if we multiply the A and D cross and get the same answer as when we multiply the B and C across. Okay? So it's going to be like this. The A and D, are, the pink ones, are the extremes, and the green, B and C, are the means. 3 6 is equivalent to 2 fourths because 3 times 4 is 12, and 2 times 6 is 12. See? You cross multiply, and if they're the same product, we know they're equivalent. Isn't that helpful with fractions? You're going to be able to know if fractions are equivalent right away. How about 1 fourth and 2 eighths? 1 times 8 is 8, and 4 times 2 is 8. Yep, they're equivalent. All right, well, some ratios give us a part-to-part -part comparison. To make pink paint, Emma mixed one part red to four parts white. It could be written as one to four or one over four. One is red, four is white. Four is not the total of the parts, though. That's why it differs from a fraction. That's why ratios are different. There's five parts. One red and four white makes five total parts. See? Ah, it's different than fractions. Some ratios give the comparison of part to whole or whole to part. In Emma's classroom, there's 12 boys and 15 girls. We divide both of these by 3, and we get a ratio of 4 to 5. The total would be 9. 4 plus 5 is 9. So to give a part to whole ratio, we would say 4 of 9 are boys, or 4 over 9. See? If we multiply by a form of 1, we can see that the 4 over 5 is the 12 and 15. See? We divided by a form of 1 to get the 4 and the 5, or and we added those together to get the 9. See? If we wrote this as a part-to-part -part ratio, it would be 4 to 5. But we wrote it as a part-to-whole, and by adding these two numbers together, the 4 and the 5, we got the whole which was 9, and we compared the ratio of boys to the whole class. See? We also could have said 12 to 27, because there's 27 if we add these two together. 12 boys to 27 could also have been the ratio. But we want to reduce it and simplify it, okay? So, that's more on ratios. This is more than most 6th graders would know, and you know what? This is going to be so helpful to you in 7th and 8th grade math, and it's even going to help you in high school because it's going to be something that the other kids are being taught and you already know. You know that you can crisscross multiply and you know what means and extremes are now. Okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.